Sabah, a state located in the east of Malaysia, is a beacon of marine biodiversity. It is renowned for its amazing and bountiful seas which support Malaysia's most well-known fisheries. Dr. Nick Pilcher, an adopted Sabahan, pioneered marine conservation in Sabah in 2003. Known as the Turtle Doctor, he has always been passionate about sea turtles. Later, his passion extended to dugongs, sharks and rays as his interest in marine conservation grew. Sadly, the very fishing activities that Sabah depends on have accidentally killed thousands of sea turtles, sharks and rays each year. Fishing nets tend to trap everything including non-targeted species which are known as bycatch. Important species such as green turtle and hammerhead shark are not spared from bycatch. Without these species, the marine ecosystem will slowly fall apart. Thanks to Dr. Nick's Marine Research Foundation, we now have proven solutions to the problems. So a TD is nothing more than a metal grid that fits in the neck of a net. And fish and shrimp come through the bars and end up at the back of the net. But something big like an endangered sea turtle comes along and hits the grid and goes out through a flap and safe. TEDs are saving up to 1,000 turtles each year in other parts of Malaysia. Imagine, if the majority of Sabah's troll boats switch to TEDs, we could go from losing 5,000 turtles to saving them every year in Sabah alone. MRF's main goal is to make Sabah fully TED compliant and to work with fishers to ensure their catches are not impacted. These would solve the single largest threat to sea turtles in Sabah. But what about sharks and rays? The story for sharks and rays is a bit more complicated because we don't yet know when and where these species are taken. Without this knowledge, we cannot devise conservation strategies. The bycatch cameras are a little bit of a different story. They sit above the deck and they're taking a photograph every five seconds and anything that ends up on the deck, be it a turtle or a shark or a ray, has its photograph taken for posterity and we know when and where it happened and that data is what allows us to design management solutions. The data for each capture can be used to design management solutions such as time area closures or gear restrictions. These would solve shark and ray bycatch nearly overnight. Restricting fishing in areas that are breeding grounds or other important areas for sharks and rays allowing us to restore their populations and ensure continuous survival. Saving turtles, sharks and rays requires ongoing engagement with fishers and government officials through training events, workshops, trials and many more that are acceptable to all. Dr. Nick and his MRF team need the support to continue saving Malaysia's endangered marine species. Over time, the turtle doctor has evolved into the man who saves marine animals for a living. <laughs>